Hello there. Today's book is, Lulu Goes to Witch School. By, Jane O'Connor and Bella Sinclair. Let's get started. It was the first day of witch school. Lulu Witch was happy and scared. Lulu could not eat her frosting snake flakes. She felt as if bats were inside her tummy. Lulu got a new broom and her Dracula lunchbox. Mama Witch kissed Lulu Witch. Lulu Witch walked school as fast as she could. She did not want to be late. A big witch stood outside the school. Hello, I'm Miss Slime. She said. Miss Slime had a long nose and a wart on her chin. Miss Slime was very pretty. Miss Slime took Lulu to her classroom and showed Lulu her cubbyhole. You can put your broom and your lunchbox here. Miss Slime said. Lulu sat down at the big table. A little witch with curly hair sat next to her. Hello, I'm Lulu Witch, said Lulu. Hello, I'm Sandy Witch, said the little witch with curly hair. Do you have your own magic wand? No, said Lulu Witch. I do, said Sandy Witch. Do you have your own black cat? Not yet, said Lulu Witch. I do, said Sandy Witch. Do you have your own broom? Asked Lulu Witch. Of course, said Sandy Witch. I got my first broom when I was three. Miss Slime was standing in front of the class. So Lulu Witch and Sandy Witch stopped talking. Firstly, sang a song called, Happy Witches Are We. Sandy Witch already knew the words. Then they drew pictures. Sandy Witch's picture was so good, Miss Slime put it on the wall. At snack time, Sandy Witch got to pass out the list of cookies. After that, Miss Slime told the little witches to get their brooms. She was going to show them how to fly. Miss Slime and all the little witches went out into the graveyard. One by one the little witches tried to fly with their brooms. One witch fell off right away. One little witch bumped into a tree. One little witch wobbled up and down. At last it was Lulu's turn. Up, up, up she flew. She did not wobble. She did not bump into anything. She even flew backward all the way down. Very good, Lulu, said Miss Slime. Lulu Witch smiled. Miss Slime was proud of her. Then it was Sandy Witch's turn. Sandy Witch flew backward. Sandy Witch flew upside down. Sandy Witch flew in a loop a loop. Sandy Witch even flew with no hands. When Lulu Witch got home, Mama Witch asked, How was witch school? I like my teacher, said Lulu. But I do not like one witch in my class. She is the best at everything. Maybe you will like her better tomorrow, said Mama Witch. Lulu did not like Sandy Witch any better the next day. At lunch Sandy Witch said, Your liver sandwich looks rotten. It does not, said Lulu Witch. It tastes good. Sandy Witch held a nose. Another little witch held her nose too. That night Mama Witch asked, How was school? I still do not like that witch, said Lulu Witch. She is mean. Don't look so mad, said Mama Witch. Come and see. I made a new dress for you. Mama Witch held up the dress. It was gray with spiders on it. Thank you, Mama, said Lulu Witch. I will wear it to witch school tomorrow. The next morning, Miss Slime said. That is a very pretty dress. Thank you, said Lulu Witch. Then Miss Slime told the class. Now I will teach you how to spell. Hooray, cried the little witches. Sandy Witch put up a hand. I can spell already, she said. Will you show the class? Asked Miss Slime. Sandy Witch stood up. She got out her magic wand. First you close your eyes, said Sandy Witch. Then you wave your magic wand and then you say the magic words. 
Sandy Witch looked right at Luna Witch. Then she closed her eyes. She waved her magic wand and said, Lucas Pocus Watercress, watch me change old Lulu's dress. All of a sudden Lulu Witch felt something go pop. She looked down at her new dress. Oh no, Sandy Witch had changed the spiders into flowers. Her new dress looked so ugly now. Miss Slime saw that Luna Witch was mad. She made Sandy Witch change the flowers back into spiders. But Lulu was still mad. I can't stand that little witch. Lulu told her mother. She wished she never had to see Sandy Witch again. The next day Lulu woke up. Her head hurt, her eyes did too. She went to the mirror. Sneaky snake got. She shouted. There were big spots all over her face. Lulu ran to find Mama Witch. I bet that mean old Sandy Witch put another spell on me. No dear, said Mama Witch. I'm afraid you have lizard pox. You cannot go to witch school today. Mama Witch made Lulu Witch get back into bed. Lulu was glad. Mama Witch brought Lulu Witch a big bowl of dragon noodle soup. It made Lulu feel better. Mama Witch read a nice scary story to her. The next day Lulu drew pictures and did puzzles. Was she glad not to see Sandy Witch? The day after that Lulu wanted to fly her broom outside. No dear. Said Mama Witch. You must stay in the house. But there is nothing to do. Lulu Witch said. She wondered what Miss Slime and the little witches were doing at witch school. The next day Mama Witch let Lulu Witch go back to witch school. Lulu was happy. Lulu walked to witch school as fast as she could. She knew Sandy Witch was going to make fun of her spots. So what? If the other little witches laughed, Lulu was going to laugh too. Welcome back. Said Miss Slime. We missed you. Lulu sat down at a big table. Where was Sandy Witch? Lulu did not see her. Then Sandy Witch came in the door. There were spots all over her face. You, you have, have lizard, lizard pox. pox. Lulu Witch and Sandy Witch shouted at the same time. You look funny, said Sandy Witch. You do too, said Lulu Witch. They both laughed, ha ha ha. I bet I have more spots than you, said Sandy Witch. We will count and see, said Lulu Witch. Lulu Witch counted the spots on Sandy Witch's face. There were 67. And Sandy Witch counted Lulu's spots. There were 69. You win, said Sandy Witch. Lulu smiled. The end. If you haven't done already, please like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.